Let's talk about instantaneous velocity. Instantaneous velocity is the change in distance over the change in time. You may recognize it as 100 kilometers an hour. It's what you see on your odometer, your speedometer, when you're driving. Okay? Um, example, let's say I get in my car and I set the cruise control for 50 kilometers an hour and I drive for an hour. Well, my instantaneous velocity that whole time using my cruise control was 50 kilometers an hour. Okay? And again, since we're studying velocities, we also have to give the direction. So I was driving 50 kilometers an hour east. Okay? All right. Well, now let's say I get in my car and do that same drive, but there's a lot of traffic. And I'm trying to accelerate past cars, and I'm turning past cars, and I'm braking because I can't get around a car. I still travel that hour in 50 kilometers east, so my average velocity is still 50 kilometers an hour east. Okay? But my instantaneous velocity was always changing when I was accelerating, when I was braking, even when I was turning the car, because remember, velocity direction counts. So when I changed the direction of the car, that changed the velocity. Okay? Well, why is instantaneous velocity so difficult to calculate? Well, it's the change in distance over the change in time, but we want that time to be as short an interval as possible. It's like a snapshot of what, you were, what your speed was at that one particular second, half second, thousandth of a second, right? So to get that to change in time to equal zero, we need to use a calculate calculus formula, and it gets a little bit complicated, um, but that's how we calculate instantaneous velocity.